would anyone in the audience care to shake my hand? <laughs> you know, that would be a really bad time to pick my nose. Hello and welcome to a, yet another episode of Slightly Mad Science. Now, you've seen me do some pretty cavalier things with electricity, fire and whatnot. You know, the Jacob's Ladder, the Valentine thingy, the light bulbs that go all lightning storm, and sometimes going in flames and all that kind of good stuff. And that's all well and good. And in most of those, I say, don't try this at home. Well, there's a reason for that. Now, I may seem a little cavalier about this sort of thing, but the only person I'm risking is myself, and I feel fine about that. I prefer that you people out there not do this unless you have, like, you know, decades of experience and, well, know better than I do about the dangers involved, because there are a lot of them. As a matter of fact, most of the stuff that I'm dealing with in these things can kill me, or you, or your pet dog, or the entire cast of Hamtaro. Wait, that's not so bad. Anyway, so what I'm going to do today is demonstrate some of the dangers involving the electricity that, I'll be, that I play with on some of my videos. For this experiment, we're going to use a hot dog, a few LEDs, and a couple of electrodes plugged directly into a wall outlet. We put the hot dog on the electrodes, add some lights, and then turn on the electricity. Now we're going to do the same thing, only this time with a pickle. Now remember, there's not really that much difference between a hot dog and your finger. And well, this with your finger, you wouldn't be quite so happy about it, and you certainly wouldn't do this. Mmm. Better hot dogs through mad science. Yummy. This is for all those folks at home that think they'd like to try some of these high voltage experiments on their own. Let's see what happens when 15,000 volts and 60 milliamps meets a fake finger. And remember, this is inside a latex glove, so this is even more insulated than my hands were when I was doing some of these experiments. With this much electrical energy, it's going to go where it wants to go. I don't think the insulation is going to help you much. Fun, isn't it? Now, if after seeing some of this stuff, you want to go out and try these experiments on your own, well, I'm not responsible for it because I've given you ample warning, and I'm only responsible for my own stupidity, not yours. I'm going to go ahead and let this close out the episode of Slightly Mad Science. If you have science-related questions or suggestions for a future episode, please go ahead and email me at slightly.mad.science at gmail.com or you can contact me through MySpace at www.myspace.com slash Slightly Mad Science. Remember, it's Slightly Mad Science. We do dangerously stupid science and make things floaty, so you don't fry like a hot dog.